Are you looking to move into the Fort Walton Beach area, specifically into the Shalimar area, which is just south of Eglin Air Force Base? If so, you're in the right spot. We're gonna talk about the pros, we're gonna talk about the cons of living in this area. And this is from the people that actually live in Shalimar. Some of the pros we're gonna talk about is the close proximity to the base at Herbert Field and other amenities. We're gonna talk about the less of the hustle because we're not right in the mix of the vacationers. Some of the cons we're gonna talk about is the jet noise and all their noises coming from that base. We'll talk about the traffic and much, much more. So if that's what you're interested, in, you're in the right place. So stick around. What's up everybody? This is Tim Woodmore here in the beautiful Destin Fort Walton Beach area. This is your first time to our video. We do tons and tons of videos about everything you need to know about our area. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, click that little bell so you're notified every single time we got a new video coming out. Now as a military veteran of 14 years and now a military spouse, I've moved so many places. Every time I move somewhere, there was always such a lack of information of where to move to and what to anticipate. That's why we created this channel for you. So make sure to stick around if you want to know more and you want to know what it's like to live in this area we have a free relocation guide go into the details after this video go ahead and click it and we'll send that free PDF to you right away also if you are looking to move to this area got some questions need some help please give my team a call here give us a call text email whatever you need we got your back when moving to the Fort Walton Beach Destin area okay let's get into it all right so let's talk about pros and cons of Shalimar but let's talk about Shalimar first Right? So where is Shalimar? Shalimar is on the north end of the Fort Walton Beach area. And it's just south of the gate at Eglin Air Force Base. Now we know Eglin Air Force Base is huge, right? But the actual area that everybody really operates the most out of, which we would consider an air base, it's right to the south of that, <laughs> right? And if you're curious of what Shalimar means, it's supposed to mean, quote, by the beautiful water. And it certainly is. It certainly is because the majority of it is going to sit on bayous or it's going to be sitting on the bay. It's just an absolute beautiful community. The population of this area from the last census was 9,997. Let's just call it 10,000. <laughs> I'm sure three people decided to move in there. All right. So what is Shalimar really known for? It's really the military influence for that community because it's it's right there. There's a private golf course and golf course living that's, that's in Shalimar. It's a pretty challenging course if you ask me but I'm not that good either there's a serene waterfront communities all throughout there some gated some not depending upon what you want to get into and it's really just a laid-back community that's really just being revitalized we're seeing a lot of the older homes most of the trailers have been taken out and new construction has been put in and we're seeing more and more of that develop all right so let's get into the pros of Shalimar let's just get into the positive stuff right away all right so the pros number one is a close proximity to Eglin and Hurlburt well that's pretty much already said right the other good part about this is that you have quick access to the elementary school and the middle school you have Meg's middle and Shalimar Elementary, and it's right there. Not only that, but if you're in Shalimar, you also really have close access to the beach because it's just a quick little rundown, Eglin Parkway all the way down into downtown Fort Walton Beach. You could be there within 10, 15 minutes, depending upon the traffic, which is nice. You'd be right there in Okaloosa Island. So if you're worried it's too far away, it's not. <laughs> Number two, you're really just outside the hustle of the vacation traffic. Right, so the vacation or traffic doesn't go through Shalimar. Most of the time, they're going to go from Crestview down through Fort Walton Beach, and you're not really going to see too much of that really, really get too much into it. They're normally going to be going around that. Also, you're not worried about those short term rentals throughout your community. There's not a whole lot that's in there, everything's more concentrated towards the Destin downtown Fort Walton Beach area. There are still a few, but most of the communities have kind of you know, pushed it out. It's not as desirable. And there's really a lot of established neighborhoods throughout this area as well. And there's just one of those communities that, that people just love to be a part of. Number three, it's really affordable housing in comparison to those areas. We're seeing a median price of single family homes in this area of around 430,000. That's a high all the way up to 1.64 million which is what we've seen in the last six months here at the end of 2023. And we've seen a low all the way down to 130,000. Pretty affordable, depending upon where you're coming from. <laughs> all right, number four, there's lots of waterfront housing. 
that's one of the cool things. There's, there's older established homes throughout here that has its own uniqueness to them. And there, a lot of them have been rehab. Some are a little bit older, but you have all these different waterfront housing. So it's going to be sitting on really one of four different areas in there. So you've got Garmir Bayou, you've got Hand Cove, Paquito Bayou, and Choctachi Bay, I think that's how you say it. We just call it Choctaw Bay. So there you go. <laughs> At number five, we've got nice community. So Paquito Bayou is actually its own community. It's got the park that's in there with a boat launch that you can get into and out of the water. Actually pretty easy and there's there's decent amount of parking for your boat. To trailers and everything else but really nice community throughout there it's kind of off by itself really don't see anything other than homeowners transitioning through there you also have lake lorraine which is more the bigger established area through the central part of shalimar shalimar point shalimar points actually where the golf course and everything else is down that area with a bunch of waterfront housing and you also have plenty of different parks throughout this area lots of different waterfront areas ones that are also on the lakes so you you have lakes that actually connect into the bay and it's just it's really beautiful some of these parks and items that they've made for the community are really nice because most of the people other than the locals they're not, they're not going to these areas so something really to check out now i'm going to say this as number six they have good restaurants <laughs> Some of my favorites for Mexican food, especially Greek food. I frequent this, these places all the time. There's a really nice health food store that's in there as well. There's not a lot of them. So the locals have complained that there's not a lot of restaurants in Chalamar. Well, the ones that they do have are, are pretty darn good. So there's, there's definitely some to go check out there. And really the last pro I'm gonna throw in here, which could have been number one, is there's a huge marina right there at one of the points in, in Chalamar. So if you want to store your boat, you want to rent a boat or whatever, that marina is right there in Chalamar. Super, super convenient to get to. All right, let's hit up the cons real quick. You know you gotta do it. All right, number one is the jet noise, right? You're right there by the airport, so you're going to hear the jet noise coming in. Now, if you live by an airport and you're like, yeah, I can hear the the big planes coming in. It is a shared airport with the civilian populace, not just the airbase. So VPS or Destin Fort Walton Beach Airport is part of it. So you'll still see some of the American Airlines and the Legion coming in here and there, more so when we see it in the summertime. However, you also have all the first generation <laughs> engines that are out there with the fighter aircraft and everything else and doing the exercises that they do. So you're gonna get a lot of jet noise generated from that airport at least during the day. They they typically keep that pretty low towards the evening. There are quiet hours that you're supposed to abide by. So at least during the day, if that's gonna drive you nuts, that could be a problem. Number two is the traffic. The military gate, when people are coming through there, you can really get a slowdown in that area. And traffic does slow down, but it's Florida drivers going over that bridge. So it does kind of slow down in there, but luckily they've kind of widened it out and you've got enough lanes in order to get that going. But the traffic, can be a bit of a nuisance. Now, there are older homes. If you like the older homes and that sort of unique feel to it, that could be advantageous, but just know a lot of them are there. So if you're looking for new construction, they're they're building them, but there's definitely more of an older community. Number four, some areas do flood, especially on the streets in the back area. The one that I really, <laughs> it drives me crazy sometimes after a good rain, on Meg's Drive over there by the lakes, it can flood and I'm not taking my SUV through there. No, but some of them can flood. We used to have really bad flooding just on Eglin Parkway. They've redone that over the past decade or so. So it's not as bad anymore. But some of the streets after like a big heavy rain can start to flood. Now travel, if you want to go north into Niceville, you have to go around the airbase. So to get anywhere north of there is, is kind of a hike from Shalimar, or you can try to traverse through the base, but the speed limit's a little bit lower. So I can't tell you, it's kind of a wash depending upon where you're going to travel all the way around to the top. And last but not least is number six, which is the small town feel. If you don't like the small town feel, then this really isn't gonna be for you. But if you do and you like that sort of collectness and, and, and community with being around a small town, this will be the place for you. So 
There you go. That's all your pros and your cons for living in Shalimar. If you have any questions about anything that we have mentioned here, please leave it in the comments below. We love hearing from you guys. And of course, don't forget that we do have a free relocation guide, free PDF. Just click on the link in the description. And we'll get that over to you immediately. Also, if you can't wait and you want to chat with us right away, please give us a call, text, email. Myself and my team here is going to be able to answer anything that you have. We are here seven days a week, so please don't be afraid to give us a call or text and we'll get back with you and, and see what we can do to help you when moving to the Shalimar or any of these areas here in the beautiful Emerald Coast. But again, my name is Tim Whittemore here with the Whittemore Group and we'll see you in our next video.